afternoon everyone it's wednesday today noah's just woken up from his nap joe was meant to be off work today but he's not because it is a bank holiday friday so we thought it's best not have two days off work because you know what has been happening this afternoon i haven't done anything really i've just been catching up on some youtube because i got my vlog up yesterday um, and it took me ages to edit that in the past couple of days i've just put a little bit more effort into them not that i wasn't putting effort before but i just feel like I, you know i've added like a few little things that you probably won't even notice but it's just things that take a bit extra time so what's that what's that in your mouth can i have that please thank you that's what the hell is that so yeah and my next parcel arrived i think noah's got some new pajamas they're just currently in the washing machine so he can sport them this evening. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him some lunch because he hasn't eaten lunch yet. He's just woken up. I shared these on my Instagram, but I'm actually loving these shorts. You see, they're like, they're high-waisted. They just seem to fit really well. And they are Levi. I'll leave the link below if anyone wants to check them out, but I got them off ASOS, like not actually on their website. I think they were like 30 quid. They're not too expensive. What are you gonna have for lunch, Noah? Leftover curry, maybe some rice. I wasn't actually even going to vlog today because I thought I'd have a day off because I was just working all day yesterday. No, I had a two and a half hour nap yesterday, so that's how I managed to get the vlog up. It's like magic. He's only done like an hour and a half today, obviously. But that's okay because yesterday I really needed that time and I'm just very happy. Cleaned the hob this morning because it was disgusting. Yeah, that is looking a million times better. How are you, Noah? Are you okay? Yeah? <coughs> you watching the washing machine? Hashtag fave. Oh, you're just gonna try and eat it, okay? Yep. <laughs> hey! You got so much hair today. Look at all this hair. Oh! so affectionate at the moment it's really nice he keeps giving me kisses and gave me a cuddle this morning which oh is pretty rare if anyone's got a one-year-old they know that that's a bit weird for them to sit still for longer than uh, 10 seconds to give you a hug so yeah that's very cute i can't believe he's nearly one Ooh, actually blowing my mind Next door neighbour's cat is so shady. Like, it just stares me out. Yes, shady cat. Shady cat. We don't like cats, do we? We don't like cats, but we like dogs. We like dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Good boy. Come on. That's it. Quite good. I don't have to actually bend down to walk with him. Which really saves my back. Yay! Good boy. You're so clever, aren't you? It's his birthday in two weeks. Shit. We're definitely just going to get him some more, more toys because, oh god, I'm so bored of this toy. He's just started getting really into stacking. Well, not stacking, but like uh, building tower with these rubber squishy rubber blocks that we have i was thinking about getting him some like actual stacky cups that like stack on top of each other and fit but some kind of like giant lego and i've seen this really, really cool mat thing that you doesn't it doesn't require any paint or coloring pens but you have a pen and then you draw and it creates it comes out colored it's, i'm just the worst person at describing things but yeah, I think that was like 10 quid on Amazon, so we'll probably get that. So obviously he's not gonna be that bothered about presents, he doesn't know what's going on, he's only one. But I would like to get him some gifts anyway, because it's his birthday, and secondly because it's just so boring in lockdown, and we need new and exciting things to do. Who's that? You got Monkey? What is Monkey doing in the kitchen? <gasps> What's he doing in the kitchen? It's this toy that he sleeps with every night. And it was about a couple of few weeks ago, wasn't it, Noah, that you suddenly realised how important he is. And if anyone touches him, he gets all weird. Because <laughs> he's your monkey, isn't he? Yes. Ah. Oh. 
Look, it gets all like protective. <laughs> oh, is he your brookie? Is he your friend? Your only friend because we can't see any of your friends. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Fox's birthday soon as well, isn't it? Fox's birthday before yours. Hopefully you're gonna see him, maybe from a distance, through the window or something. I don't know, we'll have to work something out because it would be lovely for you to see your little little mate, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, you wanna see Fox, you wanna give him a card and a present. It's a lovely morning and um, 20 to 10 in the morning and it's just getting very difficult to entertain her indoors right now. I've made some weird den thing but he's not having it so I'm going to take him out. <laughs> down for a little walk because I've sent before it's so it's really um hard at the moment to know what to do with Noah to entertain him because all of his toys I think are getting a bit samey I mean I'm bored so I know he is as well um his birthday's coming up and I think you know a few people will get him some toys so it'd be nice to have something different to play with I tried to recreate some kind of soft play thing because I'd seen some girl on 
Instagram do it with her little one. Yeah, it did work. <laughs> he was just not interested. He, all he wanted to do was like bypass the pillows to get to the shelf so that he could pull everything off the shelf. So yeah, that was a fail. But he likes it here. He likes the beach, um, especially when there's dogs about. Because he likes to go, ah, all the dogs. Very quiet today, which is actually really lovely. Um, I'm just walking. Sorry, it's a bit difficult. I should probably take my flip-flops off, but I can't be bothered to carry them. <laughs> haven't actually said what day it is. It's Tuesday. I'm doing well to only have missed one day of the week so far. <laughs> I am planning on doing some editing today as well when Noah goes down for his nap. Because got a bit of footage from the weekend. And film day, nighttime routine. What we do with Noah, bedtime routine. So yeah, hopefully gonna get that edited today. I'd just like to point out as well, it looks lovely and sunny, well it is sunny, but it's actually really cold. I feel bad for Noah. He's got a factor 50 on his leg. But I mean, I have got my feet in the sea, so maybe that's why I'm a bit cold. But... Oh my God, just seriously, look at that view. Whenever we come down here in the morning and it's like this, I always feel like, you know when you're on a holiday and you wake up early, like you go down to breakfast and like walk along the beach and you try and find some sunbeds to put your tails on to like bag through the sunbeds. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now. It's like that like slightly cooler temperature but still really lovely and sunny and just the sound of the waves it just makes me feel like I'm on a holiday. So lucky to live here, honestly. Especially during this time when you just need something, something to you know, get you in a good headspace. There's nothing better than the beach and the sound of the waves first thing in the morning. And Noah really likes it as well. I think he finds it really calming too. He always had the best naps when he was a proper baby and used to come down to the beach for the day. He always had really lovely naps. If we'd been at the beach all day, he would then sleep really well that night. Thinking about writing a blog post about how to get into a better headspace in these weird times. There's a few things that I've learnt along the way, nice things to do, so I thought I'd share them. Because I would like to get into doing a vlog. I did try a few years ago and uh, it just didn't work. I just didn't have anything to write about. I wasn't feeling very inspired at all, but since becoming a mum, I feel like I have quite a few things to share because, you know, I've been through something that a lot of people also have been through. Every motherhood is different, every baby's different. <laughs> But yeah, got a few little tips and tricks and things that I like to do to stay a bit more positive. Because I know I can feel a bit down sometimes and I don't want to come across as a negative person because I'm not. Oh no, what's this been washed up? What's that? Is that a shark? It's a shark. I think it's a baby shark. I don't know, I'll have to check. We'll have to ask Daddy, won't we? I don't know what that is. That's not meant to be in there, is it, Noah? Massive bit of plastic. Take that home, put it in the bin. Literally everyone else that's here is wearing like a winter jacket and trousers and boots. And I'm here in some summer dress and wet hair. If anyone needs a moment of calm, just close your eyes. Just listen to that. 